OK, so the way that we integrate uh, something of the form of this ax to the n, remember, from the previous video, was that we add 1 to the power of x and then divide by the new power. And don't forget that constant of integration, that plus c. OK, so what we want to do is we want to try this out with a few examples, 1 to 6, and let's just see how we get on, OK? So let's go with number 1 to start off with. We've got the integral of x to the 4 dx, OK? So what we're going to do first is add 1 to the power, so x to the 5, and divide by the new power. And we've got that constant of integration. Now, I can leave my answer like that. That's perfectly fine. Or you can write that as 1 fifth of x to the 5 plus c. Either or, these, both of these are perfectly fine. OK. Let's go on with number 2. So the integral of 3x squared dx. So we are going to add 1 to the power of the x, divide by the new power, and then add on that constant of integration. Now, in this example, it wouldn't be appropriate to just leave your answer like that because we have a common factor in the numerator and the denominator. So the threes can cancel and you'd be left with x cubed plus c. OK? So number three. OK, let's go to number three. We've got the integral of 2x plus 5 dx. Now, integration works by integrating each term separately, OK? You don't just integrate one of the terms. You integrate both of the terms, OK? So let's integrate the 2x. So we're going to add 1 to the power. Now, the power currently is 1. So if we add 1 to the power, we've got 2. And we're dividing by the new power. Now, as for that 5, any kind of constant term like 5 has, you, you could think of it as uh, it being the coefficient of x to the 0. We know that x to the 0 is just 1. So this is the same as 5. So when I add 1 to the power and divide by the new power, I would get 5x to the 1 over 1. Now, obviously, dividing by 1 is not going to make any difference. And we don't write x to the 1. And so it would just be 5x. OK, so we would have plus 5x here. And, and, you know, that comes also from the fact that we know that 5x differentiates to 5. OK, so it's got to work backwards as well. And then we've got that plus c constant of integration. Now, we wouldn't want to leave that 2x squared over 2 like that in much the same way as for number 2. So let's get rid of that. Let's uh, simplify that fraction down. And we just have x squared plus 5x plus c. OK, let's go into number 4. So this time we've got four terms here. Right, so we're going to have the 5x cubed integrating to 5x to the 4 over 4. And then integrating the minus 7x to the 8, so minus 7x to the 9 over 9. And then we've got the 5x, so plus 5x squared over 2. And then the minus 8, much like the 5 up here became 5x, this would become minus 8x. And then you've got your plus c constant of integration. Now, that's perfectly good as a final answer, because none of those fractions can be simplified. You may want to rewrite it as 5 quarters x to the 4 minus 7 ninths x to the 9 plus 5 halves x squared minus 8x plus c. That is perfectly up to you. OK, either of these two forms is perfectly acceptable. OK, so let's move on to number five here. We've got the integral of 3 over x squared dx. OK, so before you do anything with integration, you need to make sure that the format is like this in ax to the n. It's not currently like that, 3 over x squared. So you kind of want to prepare your vegetables before you integrate, right? So you want to write that as 3 lots of 1 over x squared, which is the integral of 3 lots of x to the minus 2. So 
Let me give myself a little bit of space here. Okay, there we are. Okay, so before I can integrate, I need to make sure that this is in the correct format. Now I can integrate. So I'm going to add 1 to the power, so minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1, and divide by the new power, plus C, the constant of integration. Now, I don't want to leave it like that, because we've got the 3 divided by minus 1, I can write as minus 3. So this would be minus 3 x to the minus 1 plus C. Now you can, if you wanted to, rewrite that back into a format similar to the original problem. You don't have to. Minus 3 times x to the minus 1 is the same as minus 3 times 1 over x, which is minus 3 over x. Okay, that is an equivalent form of the integral. Okay, so last one. Last one is the integral of the fourth root of x. Once again, as it was for question five, it's not in the correct format in order to integrate it. So, we want to rewrite this as x to the power of a quarter. Remember your indices, right? x to the power of a quarter is the fourth root of x. So now I can integrate. So I'm going to give myself a little bit more space again. Raise that bit. OK. So I'm going to add 1 to the power. Now 1 quarter plus 1 is 5 quarters. And I'm going to divide by the new power, the 5 quarters. And I've got that plus c constant of integration. Now, that's the answer, but I don't want to leave it like that. I don't want a fraction within a fraction. I want to tidy this up. Now, the coefficient in the numerator is just 1. 1 divided by 5 quarters is 1, div uh, one times 4 fifths. Okay? Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So this is the same as 4 fifths x to the 5 quarters plus c. Okay, and that is the answer to number six.